Okay, so I'm back. Uh, what I'm going to do in this particular video is I'm going to show you how to download and install Python. But wait, don't go, because this is related to both VBA and LibreOffice. So for example, the reason that I'm downloading Python and setting that up is you can make it work with something called Excel Wings. Excel Wings is really cool. And in the next video after this, I'm going to give you some examples of how I use it. Basically, you can write tons of Python code and you can either call that code within Excel functions or you can call it from VBA. So for example, the kind of places where this can be really useful is imagine you have to import a text file. Now, now you've got roughly one and a half million, or is it 1.6 million rows available to you within Excel. Now imagine you've got a 2 million line file or whatever, a CSV file or whatever. You can use Python and Python functions that you've actually integrated into your Excel installation to maybe get an idea of how many rows are in the file, in fact, to import the file, to query the file, um, to do lots of really cool stuff. Um, you can use it to um, go out to the web. So let's have a look at this. Let's just get Python installed first. Follow me as we do it. So first of all, let's download Python. So what I'm just gonna simply do is type download Python into the browser. There we go. And it'll take you to python.org. So we just click there. So um, so normally I just take the piece that's on top, the yellow button here. So let us just click download Python and Python should start downloading. And it's down. I've got fast internet. Uh, yeah, luckily for me. So now it's time to actually install Python. So what you've got to do is right click and choose run as administrator. This is massively important because otherwise what's going to happen is you install can fail in the future because Python doesn't have enough permission. So make sure to do that. Okay. Also, uh, tick both of these boxes here, use admin privileges and add Python XC to path. And then we just click install now and let it do its stuff. Now a trick that um, I've just discovered recently is you can figure out where your Python installation is by typing into your MS-DOS prompt, where, where's Python? So just let's have a look here. Uh, that's looking good. I'm gonna click close. Now go to your, ne next to your start terminal and type command and that will bring up the uh, command prompt. So all you have to do is partially type command and it'll come up. Just press enter and you've got your terminal. So what you can do now is type where Python. Now, what we've got here is we've got two installations of Python. The one that's been installed is the one I'm gonna highlight now. Uh, this other one I think is one that came with Microsoft, but uh, I wouldn't use that because you don't know why it's installed. Um, this is the one I use, which comes from python.org. And so it'll be users, your username, then app data, local programs, Python, Python version number, so Python 3.11 in this instance, python.exe. So what I'm just going to do, uh, just as a matter of interest, is I'm going to copy that to the clipboard. So if I go to the, to the Explorer window and I do Control V, I can paste in the path. So now we have the path to where Python is saved down here as well, which can be useful, okay? And what we're gonna do now is import some packages. And these are packages that are quite useful. So I'm going to import pandas, which is a data science package, but very useful if you're working with Excel, because what pandas does is it enables you, it's, it, it's part of Python, it enables you to effectively open, shall we say, spreadsheets in memory, grids. So you can open a memory variable called a data frame and you can manipulate it almost like a database so uh, it's very useful so uh, let's just do that first of all so what you do is you type pip install pandas enter and we can see that's worked just nicely i'm just going to maximize the window 
and it's still it's still installing the package. Now what I've found in the past is I've had errors when this has occurred and that was because I did not install Python with admin privileges. So everything should be okay here once you have admin privileges. And there we go, it's uh, all installed. So the other package uh, that I'm going to install, which you may not use as much initially, but one of the things, one of the reasons, as I said earlier, that we're doing this is I want to demonstrate Excel wings in another video. We'll just get this one done first and it'll be the next video I work on. Um, hopefully it'll be out within five days of this video. Now, so uh, more than hopefully it will. Okay, so pip install numpy. Okay, so it was already there for me. Fine. So now pip install Excel wings, I think. We'll just do with that. And that's done. Let's just uh, clear that screen. And now I'm going to install another Python package that works with Excel. So with this package, kind of like uh, Excel Wings, but this is completely open source. Uh, and what you can use is you can use Python to read Excel files and write Excel files without actually opening Excel. So that can be quite powerful as well. So we're going to do pip install. So the point is, even if you don't understand what I'm doing, just copy what I'm doing and get this on your machine. Pip ins tall install, uh, what is it, OpenPy Excel. And we're there. So now we've got the packages installed. The next thing uh, that we want to do is if you go to the Excel Wings um, website, you'll see, you know, one of the licenses is about, I think it's about £1,500, but that's for a commercial license uh, for businesses, etc. Um, you, as a private individual, or for education purposes, can have it for free. And uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to, in, we're going to input the non-commercial license now. So what you've got to do is type Excel Wings space license, I always spell that wrong, SE license update minus K lowercase space non-commercial. Enter. And there we are. We're good to go. Everything is now installed. So one way you can test your install is if you type pi and you can see we've got a Python prompt. So I can just say print hello world for example. And you've got hello world back. So what we've done is we've left the DOS or command prompt right now and we're in the Python uh, command prompt because you can see the Python command prompt has three chevrons as opposed to the uh, C colon backslash user shown in this instance, which is our folder. To get out of the Python prompt, you can either do control Z, enter, which has taken us out, or if I go back into the Python prompt again, we can also type quit, Q U I T, but uh, open parenthesis, close parenthesis, because quit is a function. And we're out as well. So that's Python installed with pandas, Excel wings, and open Py Excel. Enjoy. I will come back and I will take it through doing some useful stuff with this in upcoming videos in Excel. And the great thing about this is what's really powerful with doing it this way is Python becomes more useful because Excel effectively can become a front end to your Python code. That's one of the problems I've often had uh, with other programming languages is how do you make it useful? Well, one way of making it useful is to be able to make a talk to Excel so you can get the, your Python code to do some work and then you can get the results back into Excel.